Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. Sheriff's deputies report no weather-related problems overnight. Routine calls to 911. Rockingham County schools are working remotely today. Child care is closed. Rockingham Early College High School will be rescheduling all EOCs. Eden City Council met last night electronically and hired Bernard Robinson and Company as an internal auditor. The company in Greensboro was founded in 1947. It's a two-year contract. First, a plan will be created at a maximum cost of $15,000 in mostly maintenance in the second year with hourly charges based on level of experience, a low of 156 for staff accountant to a high of 362 for partner. The need for an internal audit was apparent when the former city manager entered a guilty plea on felony larceny charges. Council has been discussing the best way to proceed for at least a year. With the newly created UDO, Unified Development Ordinance, taking effect January 1st, the city is starting from scratch with all of its boards and commissions. A slate of members was reappointed and approved. Over 35 individuals, Board of Adjustment, Community Appearance and Historic Preservation Commissions, Planning and Tree Boards. Reappointments on several others, Lisa Duncan, ABC Board, and Tommy Flint, ABC Board Chairman. Final payment, $4,500, was approved for the Early Childhood Interactive Trail, part of the Smith River Greenway. $10,000 was initially budgeted by the city. The trail is a developmentally appropriate learning experience for young children and their caregivers, featuring artwork and interactive outdoor engagement. There are 10 touchpoint displays on the trail and colorful artwork. In other business, council recognized Tommy Underwood, who's been fire chief 10 years and involved in fire service work most of his life since the early 1980s. Underwood is retiring December 31st. A positive economic development report from city manager John Mendenhall on new businesses, jobs, housing, and industry. Councilman Phil Honeycutt remarked, even in a challenging year, the city has had $460 million in capital investments, and at least 463 jobs have been created. National Wreaths Across America Day is an annual event dedicated to remembering the sacrifices veterans have made in wars since the American Revolution. It's been held around the nation since the early 1990s, but never in Rockingham County until now. The local DAR chapter in western Rockingham County, Daughters of the American Revolution, will be placing 350 wreaths on veterans' graves at Mayadan Municipal Cemetery on Ayersville Road this Saturday morning starting at 11 o'clock. Most of the graves are from the Spanish-American War. The oldest, Randy Bell, born 1878, died 1972, a private in the U.S. Army and primitive Baptist preacher. I'll be visiting with Janelle Johnson, DAR member, in a special podcast today. She'll be telling us all about Wreaths Across America. That will be posted on Mike Moore Media Facebook and YouTube around 2 this afternoon. Beginning today, Cone Health asks only those needing care go to the a Cone Health Emergency Department. Friends, relatives, and others are asked to wait in their car. This action is being taken to protect those who work in the emergency department and people who would normally accompany others. There are exceptions for children and those with special needs. Emergency department staff will update those waiting outside. COVID-19 patients are not allowed visitors. Staff will make every effort using technology to keep them connected with loved ones. COVID-19 patients near the end of life are allowed to visitors. Need a free calendar? Pick one up now at Lane's Family Pharmacy in Eden. I stopped by yesterday, got mine. 
You can choose from different ones, vintage cars, birds, cats and dogs, Norman Rockwell, and good health. Not Elaine's customer, not a problem. But if you're thinking about making a change in the new year, Lane's is a great choice. Kevin or Keith Lane will be happy to talk with you, answer any questions. Get your 2021 calendar at Lane's Family Pharmacy, NC14 Eden. One per person. Don't forget, Lane's has countywide delivery. Call 336-627-4600, 627-4600. We're expecting a healthy, happy new year. Get your calendar right away. It's free at Lane's Family Pharmacy. Now, Rockingham County weather, 100% chance of precipitation today, mainly rain, a light glazing possible, high 37, low 25. Thursday and Friday, mostly sunny to sunny, overcast Saturday, high 48. Sunday and Monday, mostly sunny, high 55. Shiloh Airport reported 32 degrees this morning at 645 and light sleet in Eden. Get current weather information anytime at mikemore.media along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers for year-round comfort whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away 24 hours a day at 336 336- 932-7478. Merry Christmas from these businesses in Uptown Eden. House of Health, AK Emporium, David Price Auto Works, Barrier Insurance, The Roasted Bean, Price and Associates Realty, and Sweet Revenge Bakery. Go to the Uptown Eden NC Facebook page for the latest information. Wrap It Up Weekend is coming Uptown Eden. Now the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. On Facebook at Night Owl National Stoneworks. Ask about the Mike Moore Media discount. Santa Claus is coming to Eden. He'll be touring neighborhoods with friends this Friday evening starting at 6.30. He'll be on at least 15 city streets starting near NC-135, Washington, Boone, Church, Morgan, Roosevelt, Friendly, Summit, Meadow, Philcrest, Stadium, Pierce, and Kings Highway. A map of all 13 miles on his trip is posted on the city's website and Facebook pages. Turn on your lights and gather at the curb to see Santa in Eden Friday. Reedsville Parks and Recreation Department is accepting donations of new and gently used coats at 201 North Washington Avenue. Men, women, and children will be given out Saturday at 9, first come, first serve. A taste of Christmas from around the world, seven-course holiday meal, foods from Germany, Japan, Argentina, Greece, and other countries at the Blissful Ridge Art and Wedding Venue, Cherokee Camp Road, Reedsville, this Sunday the 20th and next Tuesday the 22nd, both at 6.30. $50 per person, $85 per couple. Only a couple of tickets left. Christmas Eve Love Feast at Mayadan Moravian Church, South 3rd Avenue, at 5. Pick up Love Feast packets the day before, between 3 and 6. Let me know if you have an event I can promote. Text it to 336-932-1881. Here's today's Consumer Report. XTM, a fintech company in the neo-banking business, is launching a Visa credit card that will be used with its app. The card allows applicants to establish or re-establish credit without relying on their credit score to obtain approval. Applicants only need a bank account and a monthly source of income. The Federal Trade Commission and 19 partner agencies have launched a nationwide effort to disrupt a plague of get-rich-quick schemes that have proliferated since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. The agency says the scammers are targeting the newly unemployed. 
Trouble continues for Boeing. The aircraft manufacturer has expanded inspections of newly produced 787 Dreamliners after finding a previously disclosed manufacturing defect in sections of the jet where it hadn't been initially detected. Company and government officials say it doesn't pose an imminent hazard. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today in history, December 16th, 1653, Oliver Cromwell became the Lord Protector of England, Scotland, and Ireland. How do you get that job? Lord Protector. 1773, it's the date of the Boston Tea Party, the famous political protest. 342 chests of tea were thrown into the harbor. 1835, it was the Great Fire of New York. Almost 700 buildings were destroyed. A couple of big-name birthdays, not many. Brody Lee, 41. Kristen Ritter, 39. Liv Ullman, 82. Got a birthday? Text it to 336-932-1881 so I can announce it. New weekly giveaways coming in the new year. And today we're celebrating National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. Now we're talking. Rockingham County today is sponsored by Cone Health. We're with you. ConeHealth.com. And by Good Smiles, All About Floors, Vernon Family Dairy, Carpino Investments, Tire Max, Carolina Fuels, Night Owl National Stoneworks, Fair Funeral Home, Rise Up Reedsville, Shop Rockingham County. Now we'll finish with our motivational moment. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. Thank you for tuning in today. I certainly appreciate that. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. You got a a quick little preview of this a couple of minutes ago. Let's finish up today with Mannheim Steamroller.